control at the top of the results window. Please yeah. compare to the sample result on the screen. Yes, I do. Okay, so that means you have tested negative for COVID-19. If you experience COVID-related symptoms, you may require additional testing to confirm that you do not have COVID-19. If you have questions, contact your healthcare provider or local health department, okay? Okay. So please dispose of the card or drop your bottle and swab in your trash. The test is now complete. Information about the test will be sent to your email and your test results in a digital pass will be sent to your NAMBICA app. I'll submit this negative result now. For any other concerns, visit our website www.ema.com forward slash contact dash us. Goodbye and thank you for choosing this app. Thank you. You're welcome, man. That was a lot. Yes. Only meaning, like, yeah, that one I open, I can't use that. <coughs> I can use it to test at home to see if anybody got it, but yeah, they look at every damn thing. Mm -hmm. Well, they got this is an operation here, boy. Yeah, they have definitely created a whole business on COVID. Okay, so making sure that the device is ready. So. Okay, so let me hit start. Do you hear the sound? Yes. Okay, so this is, use your microphone, okay, well. Okay, so now I'm going to hit continue. Are you ready to begin your test? Yes. <clears throat> Certified guide. What's that? Read it. You don't need that one. You don't need that I know, I'm recording. Hello. Okay. My name is Melody. I will be your certified guide. Together, we will prepare and activate your test kit. To ensure that your test is supported, we will need to verify its expiration date first. Please hold your test box with a white label on the back of the box to your device camera. To the device camera. Okay. Thank you so much, and may I please have the name and date of birth of the person being tested? Oh yes, so it's Talia Stafford, 11-172. May I please see an ID for Talia? Please hold it close to your device camera so I can view it.
She's looking for a passport. Please suggest a closer device camera. A little bit further away. Okay, thank you so much. And can you confirm if you are the owner of the account used to log in? Yes. If our reconnection drops, click on the message that says click here to reconnect and you will only see that if ever we can disconnect it. Okay. Now please lower down your camera angle so I can see your chest box on a flat surface. Okay. Like that? Open your chest box and there should be three components. A sealed test card, a sealed swab, and a bottle of liquid. Okay. Please open a white foil wrapper or the big pouch. Just card in front of your device camera to scan the QR code. Closer. Closer to your device camera. Again, okay. hold still. Okay, please hold still. Thank you so much. And now open the dust card on a flat surface and make sure the two holes are on the right side of the card. And do not touch the inside of the test card, most especially the test grip, which is on the left side of the card. Okay. So keep that there, and then open what? Open your test card. Make sure the two holes are on the right side, and do not touch the inside of the test card. Okay. Lay it on a flat surface now, and then get the bottle dropper. That's it, and twist it to open, and then hold it vertically half an inch over the top hole, and slowly add six drops into the top hole of the card. Do what? Drop it off. Just twist Just stand, stand it up, stand it up. Stand stand it up. Stand away. This way. This way. Other. Yeah. And pop that off. Okay. Pop this off. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Just, to, okay. You know, like that? Can, yeah. Pull it off. Okay. Be careful. Okay. Hold Not it vertically squeeze. half an inch over the top hole. And slowly add six drops into the top hole of the card. All right, now spin it away on the small hole. Small hole. Drop. Just put it on the table. Uh, uh, sorry, please keep the top card on a flat surface. Okay. Just put it on the now, top hole. The small hole. Yeah, six drops, and hold it vertically half an inch. Like this. Yeah, six. Make sure. Correct. One, two, three, four. Five, six, right? Now take the swap out without touching the Just whole tip. Just put it down. Can I put this down? Yeah. Yes. Swab. No, take no. this out? Yeah. Flip it. Yes. Flip, open that end. Open this end. Yeah. The end without the tissue part. Right. Okay, and 
please adjust your camera angle so I can see your face for the next steps. Okay. And then insert the swab at least half an inch into your left nostril first and rotate it five times against the sides. There you go. Okay. Yeah, three, four, five. Right? Do the same for the right nostril. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. And please adjust your camera angle again towards your chest cord. Okay, Just keep the card on the flat surface and thread the swab through the bottom hole or the big hole and then push it until it's visible in the top. Just leave it there. there you go. Just put it in right there? Yep. And then push it. Okay, mm -hmm. spin it three times to the right and just leave it in the cart. One, push, two, push three. So and I... peel off the adhesive liner from the right edge of the tusk cord, the one on the right side. Right here? Yep. That's it. Yes. And lastly, close the left side of the cord. Like this? Close the left side. Yep. Just lay down. Yes. For now, the tusk cord will stay flat and stationary and please do not touch it during this time. In a moment, we will activate your timer for 15 minutes and there will be another certified guide that will assist you in interpreting results once the timer is up. Okay. Again, this is Melody and thank you for choosing email. Please stay on the line and goodbye for now. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, that is elaborate. Okay. So I'm recording this partly because this is really interesting that COVID has become a business. But also, if anybody needs to do this, I guess this is the test. It is the buy next now home test that's observed by these EMED folks. And in 15 minutes, they come back on. But basically, the steps are. It is very likely you have COVID-19 and it is important to be under the care of your health care provider. The telehealth proctor is not a healthcare provider. It is also likely that you may be placed in isolation to avoid spreading the virus to others. Why is it there is a very small chance that this know, test can give a positive, positive result that is wrong, you you a false positive result. Your healthcare provider will work with you to determine how best to care for you but it's based same, on is your it test results along oh, with sweetie. your medical the, history the and your symptoms. A negative test it's result means yeah. that proteins from the oh, virus okay. that causes COVID-19 were yeah. not found in your sample. Negative results may require additional molecular testing to confirm that you do not have COVID-19. It is possible for this test to give a negative result that is incorrect, false negative, in some people with COVID-19. This means that you could possibly still have COVID-19, even though the test is negative. If your test result is negative, please consult your healthcare provider. The telehealth proctor is not a healthcare this provider. This is really interesting. Okay, your so I like this because will consider the test I feel like you have an official test, but... With all other aspects of your medical history, such as symptoms, possible exposures so this is the test location of places you, you download this app in deciding how to care for you. and then you go to emed.com and you can tell those were the steps where they're kind of elaborate but you basically the steps are you open the covid ag card and do six drops in the top hole and then you take out the next steps you should take I guess like the little swab for your nose and do that five times on each nostril, which is horrible. And then put it back in here and then you just wait. So I'm waiting. Do not open this kit before they give you the instructions. We made that mistake and we lost one of them. But it's pretty serious. Like they actually come on and tell you to open it and to lay it down on the surface. And then once they're done, somebody else, I guess, comes on in about 12 minutes. So we are going to wait and see what they say. So you guys can either wait if you want or come back.
and we got these where through American Airlines, right? Where'd we get them? Ordered them from eBay. Okay, and they were like maybe six of them for one hundred and fifty dollars. So. I think these make sense if you're traveling internationally. We This is our first time trying it, so if you haven't tried it before, this gives you a good overview if you're wondering how you should get your COVID tests administered if you're traveling. These are accepted by American Airlines, so we decided to buy like six of them so that we could have them for our trip to Cancun so that we won wouldn't have to necessarily spend more money once we got here because sometimes when we were in Hawaii, like the COVID test was $125 and you had to find a location to get it. Now, fortunately now resorts are having a lot of COVID tests on, on site. So here it was actually only $25 at Vedanta for the antigen but the PCR quick test, I think was like still $125. So I think it's worth it to just buy these and have them. And then heaven forbid, if you did test positive, um, you'd know about it first. So you could kind of start making some decisions um, about it. So it's a little bit of a wait, but as long as you have a laptop, I guess you'll need a desktop computer too, because I don't think that you can do this on your cell phone. So that's something important is that you probably have to be able to access emed.com probably on your laptop. Just one bit of information. I just don't know how people are traveling if you don't have a smartphone. Um, lots of things to scan, lots of passwords to remember, lots of uploads. So if you're not good with technology, this is a good time. Um, so we are just waiting on the countdown. Right now I'm at eight minutes. So I'm hoping that everything is good. And actually I can actually see the test. It's kind of like You can kind of see it actually right here. And I cannot touch it. My husband is saying that. I cannot touch it. So he's into compliance. He's always telling me stuff. And I listen because so far he's been pretty good. So we are waiting. That's a long wait. I feel like I'm literally taking like a pregnancy test or something. This is crazy.